when you want to using class simulation and turning your object to the class you have to use this tool class surfaces this tool convert your object any object that you uh, insert turning to the class and you can simulate that <clears throat> it it has lots of benefits to that for example in a in a normally normally if i want oh, i'm in a spline tool sorry <clears throat> normally if you want to turn this plane to the class you have to first mm, add a more subdiv subdiv subdivision to that using for example a, a subdivision surface make it the subdivision or using the <clears throat> bilinear as you can see you can uh, add more subdivision to that and after that you have to uh, make it editable and then extrude for making a thickness to that and we have a lots of things to do but in a class surface we have all that things together subdivision thickness and a lot of <clears throat> uh, lot of useful option together and the engine of the cinema 4d with the class surface uh, do the faster simulation so you use you have to use the class surface for uh, changing for example this plane to the class simply make a child it in a class and everything is done finish it's turned to the class and you can simply add a thickness to that for example one centimeter as you can see we have a thickness to that it's a very 1.0.2 centimeter is nice for that <clears throat> And for doing simulation, I insert a sphere. I want to that plane fall off, fall on this plane and doing the simulation in the filter, turn it down. Okay, uh, change the order, a type of the sphere. For example, I call some, no. That's nice and making. And increase the segments. And now I want to teach you a little about uh, simulation, class simulation. Right click on it. And in a simulation tag, you have to assign a collider to that. A collider to that sphere that collide with the class. And you have to right click and in a simulation tag, assign the class tag to display and everything is done you have to just hit the play icon oh sorry it's very heavy i think and it's done okay as you can see this is our simulation in a timeline you can increase the timeline for example 500 that's enough we expand the timeline and the Next lessons we will teach you all this animation timeline. Just for simulation, we need to play. Okay. All these tags are very, as we can see, uh, settings that you can change them. Uh, we have an separate lessons for explaining that. But as you can see, we have a simple class there and you can simply change it anywhere that you want and anytime and hit the play again okay you can add more subdivision here going to the <clears throat> sitting of the class surface and you can increase the subdivision and do it and now we could also doing better. Okay. And 
Another setting of the class simulation is a factor. The higher number of the factor causes the better quality of the class simulation. Okay, going to the plane, and in the plane, we can add a segment to that, I think. We can change segment anytime that you want here. Okay. What is limit? And here we can change the thickness. What is limit? Look at this little image. For example, this is our <coughs> class that include all polygon here. For example, here there is a polygon that is subdivided here. Any polygon has its cage that contain in the cage. And if the limit is disabled, the polygon can intersect its cage. But if you enable limit, the polygon does not allow to uh, cross over its or intersect its uh, cages. So if you click, check, uh, uh, click the and check the limit, if you simulate that and make a subdivision more, or make a thickness of one centimeter. Turning off the growth shading. In some cases, you can see the uh, broken face here because of limit. I don't know why in this case we couldn't see that. In here, you can see some shadow on this and you can see the polygons because of the limit. You can disable that and do it again. Okay, the bulging shows the polygon edges here, the bulging. And as you can see, the limit option will be turned off. Okay, as you can see. Turn it off, they're gone. Turn the limit, as you can see. Okay, you can turn the subdivision on, simulate again. Oh. As you can see, when you uh, make a higher number of simulation, we have this issue here. We need to more uh, power for Similar like that. I'm recording and I have no resources for that. Okay. This is class simulation. So if you want to simulate the class, definitely use class surface. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release